So we'll see you at 10 a.m. All right, let's party! <laughs> With Malin Plant, Amway CEO. I'm so excited to have him share with you. That's like an, an excess nation across the US and across the world. Congratulations, 20 years. Wow. Now let's start off by saying cheers and let's drink to this. You know, I, I love excess and I love even more than products. I love the products, but even more than products, I love the excess mindset of youthfulness and adventure and fun. The first time, you know, I joined Amway four years back. And even before I joined, I had a chance to go to Nashville uh, to the uh, North America Achievers. And I met a group of IBOs and they said, the first question they asked me, so which one is your favorite excess? Or this is before I joined Amway, it was still a month. I said, the least I want to do is drink all the excess flavors. Every flavor. And I found it really difficult to decide which one is my favorite. But citrus is, is one of them, and the new 20th year anniversary so edition is another. Good. So, which one is your excess favorite uh, drink, your uh, excess favorite product? What I really love about all of you in the excess nation is your lifestyle, your community, the sense of adventure, the sense of fun, the sense of youthfulness. I just love it. Malin, thank you so much for being here. I need to ask you. Where do you see excess in the next 20 years? Gosh, the next 20 years? I don't know. I think the next two years, four years, six years, A70. Excess, as I see, is the, it's, it's, our, it's our way of attracting young entrepreneurs to Amway. Uh, we want to we make Amway a magnet for a new generation of entrepreneurs. And excess does that through this whole fitness and adventure community, which has youthfulness at its heart. So what are, where do I see excess in 20 years from now? I see the excess nation growing, growing yes. in every country, every market across the world, helping millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions live a better, healthier, fitter life. Yes, I love that. I love that. And so along those lines, in the spirit of excess, is there an adventure that you've always wanted to try? Gosh, you know, excess keeps me young. Uh, but there are so many things I haven't done yet. One of the things I want to do is, is, a, is, a, is a sprint triathlon. And, and the reason why, you know, it's, a, it's an adventure and it's a challenging for me yes. is because swimming is my Achilles heel. But that's something I can do because I'm inspired by all our ABOs. I watch them on Instagram and the kind of stuff they do. Man, I should be doing that. Yeah. And I want to do that next year. Yeah, it's leaning into the challenge. Leaning challenges. into the challenge into Absolutely. the new adventure. Yeah, I love that. A sprint triathlon. All right, we're going to hold you to it. Hold me to it. The Nexus Nation, hold me to it. 21st anniversary, 21st birthday. We're here to see Malin have done a sprint uh, marathon, sprint yeah. triathlon. Yeah, marathon. Um, I can surely do, but the triathlon is the okay. one that's Sprint one. triathlon yeah. this time next year. So, one more question for you. What are some of your favorite excess products that help fuel your lifestyle, like travel and working, that help you to meet the demands of your daily schedule? What What are those? Well, I love every, every excess product, right? Hard to choose. It's hard to choose, but... What I've, what I've been doing, again, the spirit of excess is, is build my fitness regime. So every day mm -hmm. I would have excess muscle multiplier. Yes. And so that's an yes. important one. That's part of my like uh, daily habit. Absolutely. Uh, so that's that's something I do daily. Now I've started, I've been told that I've, you know, Milan, you're 50 plus, so you've got to be having, you're losing muscle mass. So I've been lifting weights and yes. lift weights, my muscles ache. So yes. then I need the excess CBD spray yes. to help with all my aches and pains that are happening. Yes. They right. come more frequent as we get older. Exactly. 20 years now. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, uh, so that's there. And then when one needs a little break and a dash of energy, Cheers. I drink. Yes. Yes. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Mm. Well, I hope you all have a cold excess in your hand today as you're celebrating with us. It has been a pleasure having you on and being able to share with our excess family on such a special day, our 20th birthday. Stay tuned because 
uh, in the next hour, we have some very important guests coming on to share with you. So we're very excited to have them here. Malin, thank you again for sharing with us today. It has been an absolute pleasure. We look forward to seeing you in a year's time with your sprint triathlon done and dusted. Make sure you guys write down some <laughs> goals that you're going to achieve over the next year with Excess as well and how Excess is going to help you get there. All right. Cheers, everyone. Let's keep Cheers, partying. Cheers. Great to see you all. Bye-bye. Cheers, guys. I'm Doug DeVos, and I'm thrilled to be able to say happy anniversary. 20 years of Excess. 20 years of adventure, 20 years of helping all of us get pushed beyond our comfort zone. And Excess is the perfect product to give us that boost we need to get there. You know, I remember when, uh, when this whole idea first started, this energy drink product idea was coming on and, and it seemed like a great product and it was a great product. It fit the marketplace. It came in and did a great job with what it was supposed to do. But I found out it was more. It's really the spirit, the spirit of adventure, this idea that we can do things outside of our comfort zone that we never thought we could do. Things that we maybe didn't want to try to do because they were a little scary. But now we found ourselves in an environment with so many people who were encouraging us and helping us in a product to give us the boost to get there. I know I've experienced that on, on a regular basis when I've done something that's been outside of my comfort zone when I need a little energy to get out on the ledge or to, to, to do something a little different. I've always reached for a can of excess to say, I need a little help here. And away we've gone. So as we celebrate 20 years, we've got a lot of things to celebrate in our past, but even more to think about in our future. I think this is a brand and this is an idea that fits so incredibly well with the spirit of, of Amway with this identity that we have of trying new things, this entrepreneurial spirit of reaching out, getting beyond our comfort zone, doing new and adventurous things that help us grow as individuals. And excess is a piece of that puzzle and has been, with there, been there with us and helped encourage us to take those opportunities to move forward and to experience a richness and a fullness in our lives that we never would have done if we would have stayed in our comfort zone. So here's to 20 more years and beyond of reaching out and adventure. So congratulations to XS and congratulations to all of you. Hey, XS Nation, welcome back. We are here at the XS Global Headquarters celebrating our 20th birthday. I have my watermelon lemonade here. Not sure which can I'm on. It could be my third already for the day. I want to know what flavor you guys are drinking at home. Share it in the comments, what your favorite flavor is and what you're drinking today to celebrate our 20th birthday. So as a little reminder, we're going to go live every hour on top of the hour with special guests. And later on today, we're also going to be doing giveaways. So keep tuning in at the top of every hour so that you can meet our special guests. And now I am so excited to introduce to you Excess North America brand manager, Steve Cherry. He is going to talk to you about all the new and exciting things that we're doing to celebrate Excess's 20 year anniversary. Steve. Hey everybody, thank you for having me. Thank you, Nick, for the great introduction. I am so excited to be here. Thank you all for tuning in as we celebrate the Excess 20 year anniversary. We're having an amazing birthday party, as you can see in the background. And I'm excited to share some of um, my favorite memories with Excess. Um, I mean, I joined the brand back in 2014, a little bit before, and we actually formally purchased the brand, uh, helped develop the sports nutrition line, and have helped lead our product development ever since. I am super excited to, hear, to be here today to share some of our latest and greatest products with you guys. So first up, I'd like to talk about our, our energy drinks. In true Excess fashion, um, we, we marked our 20 year anniversary with a fun series of flavor launches across both energy drinks and sports nutrition. Our friends up in Canada, north of the border, they actually got a jump start on the celebration earlier this year. They launched an amazing new maple lemonade flavor uh, earlier this year. This tastes great. It was launched in partnership with the Amway Canada 60th anniversary uh, that they're celebrating up there, as well as the XS 20th anniversary. So our friends in Canada kickstarted the party. And as you can see, we've been celebrating all year long. The U.S. joined the party 
just a few weeks ago in August with our record-breaking launch of our watermelon lemonade energy drink flavor. This went back to our roots. We went back with a traditional flavor, delivering our, our base formula, our zero sugar, uh, zero carb formula that's got a mega dose of B vitamins and caffeine to really boost energy and fuel those workouts and adventures. So if you haven't tried this, get some because it's absolutely delicious. We blended natural watermelon and lemonade flavors in this product uh, so that you really get the highest quality there is. And what, how we like to describe it, it's almost like like, like you've had a, a watermelon Jolly Rancher with a little bit of lemon on the end. So it, it's a really, really good flavor. It set records for us. It actually broke all of our records for cases sold in a single day, uh, most, most cases sold in a single month. So, so keep it coming. We're doing our best to keep it in stock, but, but you guys are really blowing away even our wildest expectations. So I, I apologize for the order limit, but hopefully we can get some more of this produced here soon and, and allow you guys to really fuel your adventures with this great new flavor. But that's not all. Just last week, we launched two, two great new products in our sports nutrition line. First up is the new strawberry flavor of our protein pods. This delivers the same 20 grams of 100% whey protein isolate and 4.4 grams of branch chain amino acids to help fuel your muscles before, during, or even after a workout. Um, what's, what's really awesome about these products, or, or this product, like all of our protein pods, is the convenience it adds. It really takes protein powder to the next level. You no longer have to tug around those big, heavy tubs um, or, or spill scoops of powder uh, when you're trying to mix it up in a shaker cup. All you got to do is take a pot, drop it in your shaker cup, shake it up, and go. It's, it's the easiest way to have protein powder um, and... and it can it really boost your workouts and performance. So we launched our strawberry flavor just last week. Sales have been going crazy for it. It's it's delicious. Like all of our excess products, again, natural strawberry flavor. It's creamy. It's like a strawberry milkshake. You are going to love it if you haven't tried it. Uh, so add this to your regimen. Helps you not get stale on the, on the chocolate and vanilla flavors. Mix in a third flavor uh, so you really get all the benefits and, and you get tired of any flavors. But the product I really want to talk about most, though, been a labor of love for me. I've been working on this for three years, but it's our new birthday cake flavor of protein bars. So this bar is absolutely delicious. I really think it's probably the best tasting protein bar on the planet. I mean, nothing against our other two flavors. They are awesome. The chocolate berry and the chocolate peanut butter crunch. But this birthday bar, it's, it's amazing. We sampled it out at Diamond Club um, back in February, and I've had people hounding me ever since trying to get more samples of this product. But just imagine, I mean, it is a vanilla cake batter flavor that's all natural, and we put sprinkles on top. And what's really awesome, even the sprinkles are natural. We don't use any artificial colors or flavors in any of our excess products, and we went to great lengths to find naturally colored sprinkles. I know it sounds funny, but that, those are the links we go to at Excess to make sure we deliver the highest quality for you and, uh, and your customers. So try this bar if you haven't had it. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's also gluten-free, um, and it's great to get even um, before a workout in. It's great to get a little food on your stomach sometimes so you're not fasted. So this is a great product that can help really fuel your workouts even before you go and hit the gym. But, um, but that's also, that's not, not, not all that I'm here to talk about. We've been in the lab and we're not slowing down with excess. We might be celebrating 20 years, but we're looking towards the future as well. And we're doubling down in sports nutrition. And so I'm excited to say that our product launches for 2022, they're not done. Arguably our biggest launch of the year is yet to come. And I'm super excited because I've actually got a couple of these that I can show with you guys. Coming in December. We are launching a new and improved muscle multiplier. This is really our flagship product for sports nutrition, and we've made it even better. We're adding in more amino acids per serving. We're adding two great new flavors. We've got a berry blast and a watermelon flavor that'll be coming out. This is launching in December. We've also got this great new convenient pouch packaging, just like our protein pods and, and some of the other products that you'll find within Amway. It's super convenient, takes up less space than your protein powder or, um, or, or muscle multiplier tubs. You don't have these big plastic tubs anymore. Very convenient when you're traveling. But you want to speak about convenience because we're going even a step further with this new muscle multiplier. We're giving you guys something that you've been asking for ever since we launched the first version of muscle multiplier back in 2019. Finally, at long last, bringing you guys stick packs of excess muscle multiplier. These will launch at the same time that we're launching the 30 serving pouches. Uh, each one of these contains 12 stick packs. So a great option for you if you're 
If you're going to the gym, you can throw one of these in your bag or a couple of them uh, so that you can share one with someone if you meet them there. It's also great just at sampling in general because people like to try a sample before they're going to purchase something. So these great new stick pack muscle multipliers are going to go a long ways for filling your workouts and your business. So that's really it. These will launch in December, but hopefully you guys have really enjoyed the 20th anniversary celebration we've been going on all year long. And remember, North America was the birthplace of excess, so of course, we're, we're bringing the party to you. Thank you guys for all the love, and keep fueling your workouts and adventures with excess. I'm Steve, brand manager for North America, your fun captain, so thank you. Signing off. We'll see you soon. We're not signing off just yet, <laughs> because it's Steve's birthday, too! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Access Nation. Love ya. Thank you so much, Steve. <laughs> He just had so much exciting information. We can't wait to get these products into your hands. I would love to know what your favorite product is that you're excited to taste or that you have tasted so far from the 20th anniversary. So drop those in the comments. All right, make sure you come back on at 1 p.m. today because I'm gonna be jumping on again at 1 p.m. with other brand ambassadors to share our favorite excess stories throughout the years. So we will see you at 1 p.m. later today. Cheers, guys. Hey, Excess Nation. Welcome back. I am Nick, and we are at the Excess Experience Center in Ada Mission, Michigan, the global headquarters for Excess. And if you haven't been on today already, we are celebrating Excess's 20th anniversary. So we're having a party here. And I'm going to give you a tour of all the fun things that are happening. Let's go. So. Over here, we have our DJ set up. He's playing some great tunes all day. We're just going to have to weave through a few people to get there. And old Steve Cherry. Yeah! So we have our DJ over here playing tunes all day long. And you can see behind us, we have the excess manufacturing facility. So the manufacturing facility is actually going to have a tour in about an hour's time at 2 p.m. So make sure you tune back in and we'll take you for a tour through the manufacturing facility. Let's go this way. Thank you. We have, Ooh. yeah, we have over 300 balloons here today. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> we have over 300 balloons here today celebrating our birthday cake, protein bars. And then some amazing food. I have to show you what we have on the menu at today's party. There's some amazing excess smoothies created specifically for this celebration today. Some delicious pops. We have full charcuterie board. And then two of my favorite things. I will show you first. We have custom cookies for excess anniversary. I'm going to get it with my hands. 20th anniversary cookies. And then... Come check out this birthday cake. How epic is this? So we started 20 years ago in Laguna Beach in California, and this cake is dedicated to the birthplace of excess, Laguna Beach, California. And then this here, we're giving away prizes. So come on down, and you can spin the wheel. Spin that wheel. I have a chance to win one of the prizes. What have we got here? Yes! We won a prize! Yeah! I won one! Later today, if you guys are at home, make sure you keep staying tuned because we're giving away prizes later today with Ben Shannon, our social media manager. He's going to be coming on and giving away prizes to you guys. So keep staying tuned for that. All right, so let's go back this way. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about my history with Access. And then we're going to have some more ambassadors on sharing their history with Access. So now that we're back out here, uh, we also have the Access 20 sign behind us. So many great balloons. So I want to take just a second and share with you my history with Access and why it means so much to me, especially on this 20th anniversary. So I've been with Access for 16 years now, 16 incredible years. And been fortunate to move through many different roles with my time at Access. 
I first started when I met the co-founders, Scott and Dave, in Australia a long time ago. And I worked an Achievers event in Florida. One of my favorite memories was that Amway shut down the entire Universal and we got to go exploring Universal at nighttime with just us. It was incredible. So we did that and then I moved to the Excess Experience Center in Laguna Beach, California and I managed that operation. So the Laguna Beach is so important to me, not only because that's where Excess got founded in 2002, but I spent a lot of time there meeting all of you and everyone else who loves their brand came to the Experience Center in Laguna Beach and we got to experience the beach together, have cans of Excess, sit down, relax, and chill out together and build a better connection and better community. And that was such an integral part of my time here at Access. Then I transitioned to what my role is now, an adventure specialist or an adventure ambassador. So I like to live the Access lifestyle and have from the beginning. So I'm able to take Access with me wherever I go, whether it's jumping out of a plane, whether it's going on long hikes and sharing that with our community because we all do that together. So my favorite memories with Access generally have all revolved around adventure, whether it's adventure at the Universal in Florida, the beach in Laguna, or jumping out of planes as an adventure ambassador. I've enjoyed all of these experiences so much. So I would love to hear what your favorite adventure with Access has been over the past 20 years. Drop them in the comments, because we want to know what your favorite adventure has been with us. And next, I'm gonna introduce you to Nate Darry, who is one of our favorite ambassadors, and then another kin of mine, Chefy Jason Roberts from Australia and New Zealand, is gonna jump on and share some of his favorite memories from the last 20 years with Access. We'll see you in a sec. Excess Nation, Excess, I want to congratulate you on your 20 year anniversary. It's a huge accomplishment. Two decades, uh, celebrating 20 years of adventure. Thank you, Excess Nation, for inspiring us and engaging in life together. Let's continue to get out of our comfort zone and experience more. Yeah, it's an excellent quote because uh, for 20 years you have been providing people the energy to get out of their comfort zone and experience more. So Excess has been along in my journey. Uh, it's crazy that it's 20 years. Uh, I got introduced to Excess in 2005 and it was all in in 2008. So I've been along for quite a bit of the journey, but um, Excess has been with me everywhere. It's taken me all over the place. Give me the energy to attack life. Not just experience it, but to attack life. So. A lot, I love the quote that they have on here about get out of your comfort zone and experience more because I've, I've been forced on multiple occasions to get out of my comfort zone. So it's been along with my fitness journey, uh, sports, all of the above. So, man, big kudos to UXS. I appreciate everything that you do. I appreciate the culture of the company. Y'all have been amazing. It's just a wonderful vibe to be around and you are forced people to step out of their comfort zone and experience more. Glad I could be along for the ride. And I'm looking forward to 20 more years and no telling where uh, excess will go from here. So I just want to congratulate you and I appreciate you in my life. You have fun and fuel my passion and I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to the future. Birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Yay! Our 20 years hasn't been kind. Hey, this guy. <laughs> How are you doing, everybody? Congratulations, Excess Nation. And to all the guys at Excess, 20 years, what an incredible milestone. I'm super pumped to still be part of the team and to be here to share a couple of stories and some of my favorite memories, I guess, of the last 20 years. Maybe more hair was a good memory. Um, but outside of that, the connections, the community, the families that I've got to know, but also having a team of people who've supported me. That's the biggest part of this. It's the community that's been built, the support that I now have, and the relationships that have been forged. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. 20 years. Wow. 
Oh well guys, well, happy birthday. Here's to another 20. Woo! Jeez, happy birthday! Still good. Who is going? Hey guys. Hey guys, come back at 2 p.m. We're gonna have Aaron take us through the manufacturing facility. If you haven't been here, you need to come back and see this. It's incredible. I see pallets and pallets of excess lined up outside. So we're going to be taking you through a tour of the facility at 2 p.m. Make sure you tune back in for that. Now, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey, Excess Nation. Welcome back. So we are celebrating Excess's 20th birthday today, and I am here with Aaron. And he is going to take us through an incredible tour of the Excess Manufacturing Facility. So I hope you all are excited because I sure am. It's going to be Amazing. I've heard a little inside of what's in store. So, Aaron, let's go. Perfect. Hey, welcome, Access Nation. Let me get you through the floor. And I'm going to walk you through where it all starts. All right. So you're now walking into a 60-year-old building. So this was originally liquid manufacturing, which was our first manufacturing operation. Okay. They decommissioned that in 2018 to put in excess manufacturing. So everything you see here... From the floor all the way to the ceiling is brand new. Nothing here was reused. So wow. kind of works out well for us. We'll continue. Yep. And how many cans a day go through this line here? Yep. So we run roughly half a million cans a day out of this operation. We run 30,000 units an hour, run 20 hours a day. So we get quite a bit of volume out of this operation. It works pretty well for us. So. Yeah, that's incredible. And this here is uh, MPG going through? Correct. This is mango pineapple guava. This is one of our top three flavors. We run this yes. at a very high frequency. So. Excited to show you the process today. Epic. All right. All right. So we'll head What's back next? this way now. So we're going to start at the beginning of the process. Um, obviously, we get our cans from a supplier. And for us, we need to receive those cans in here. So let me show you how we do all of that right here. All right. Beginning of the process is our inbound warehouse. You're looking at 12 million cans. 12 million cans will last me a month and a half, six weeks. We go through volume that quickly out of this operation. That's impressive. Absolutely. We, we produce for the Western Hemisphere, that is Canada, United States, and the Latin American system. Okay. So we run a significant amount of volume for those operations. Okay. And how many different SKUs in total do you know? 34. 34 SKUs. Wow. 34 different SKUs. So your cranberry grape U.S., flavor is going to be a little bit different than Canada formula, its recipes, and, and things that they allow to use in there. So. Proprietary secret, secret blend. Absolutely. Yeah. So. We'll keep going this way. All right. So I'm going to show you now what 12 million cans looks like. We receive our cans in pallets. 10,548 units per pallet. So for us, that's significant. We need to be able to get those cans off of the pallet and onto a conveyance system. So I'm going to show you that right here. To my right, is the depalletizer. We're going to take every layer of cans and sweep them onto a conveyance system. Okay? That's what you're seeing right here. When I walk you through this operation, I also want you to pay attention to the number of people that I have here. This is a very lean operation. It takes me roughly three people to run this entire packaging line, and that's it. So, significant amount of volume comes out of this operation because of the investment in the equipment. There's a lot of robots in work here. A lot of wor robots at work here, absolutely. Yeah. So we keep going this way now. We're going to walk towards our cans so you can kind of see what it is we're looking at. <clears throat> Look at all these cans. Are these all filled or are they So these are, filled? these are all empty cans. This is inbound warehouse. So okay. here we receive all of our cans okay. from our supplier. And they'll sit in here until it's time for us to run them. Okay. So you're going to look behind me right here and you've got your dragon fruits. You've got naranjas. You've got caffeine-free mango pineapple guava. Obviously, our most popular flavor, cranberry grape, is going to be sitting right there behind you. It's a beautiful thing. Really can't get tired of looking at that. Okay. All right, I'm going to swing around this way really quick. I'm going to show you the actual packaging process. So we have a mixed process. We make our batches of uh, product, and we wait to package those into our, our, our equipment here. This is what you're going to look at right here. So 
Here is the depalletizer. I'm going to take a full pallet of cans, 10,548 units on that pallet, and set it on this conveyance system. From here, the equipment does all the work. It's going to take that pallet layer by layer and send it to a feed conveyance system, what you're seeing right here. Focus for us here in this operation is quality. Obviously, only second to the safety of our employees. What you're looking at, though, is an extremely quality-focused operation. Every pallet of cans has a layer in between them, so I'm never worried about anything falling into my cans. We're making sure we're ensuring the integrity of the can in that respect. Okay? We'll keep walking this way here. And do the cans get labeled here in this facility as well, or is that done off-site and then they're brought in with the labels on them? Yep, cans are... Uh, decorated before they come to us. So okay. what you receive is what we get. So these okay. are ready to fill when we're, when we're ready to run them. Perfect. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So we'll keep moving over this way. We're going to walk towards our most popular and most impressive piece of equipment, and that's going to be our filler. So again, our filler is a 44 valve filler, six head seamer. It runs 500 units a minute, 30,000 an hour, 300,000 a shift, and roughly 600,000 a day. So we run quite a bit of volume out of this operation. Here's a different angle of our depalletizer right here. You can kind of see cans moving along the conveyor system. Again, I talked about quality being the focus of the operation. Just to the right here, and I'll make sure to point it out, I have food zone covers. So if I ever have a roof leak in this operation, I'm never worried about my cans being contaminated. You never know what's in water off the roof, right? Yeah. So you're going to kind of see that. Okay. So we'll continue this way now. So again, food zone covers right there, as you can see quality focus at the heart of everything we do. Okay. Let's head now into the packaging area. I'm going to open this door right here. Thank you. All right. So inside the packaging area, come this way. I'm going to show you what this looks like. I just started with a very wide bed conveyor. I have to narrow my conveyor down to single file to be able to fill my cans. That's how this operation works. Okay. So cans are going to continue to send, send the way down the conveyance system until we get to a point where we're going to fill them. I'll show you that right here. What happens if one of the cans is crushed? If I have a can that is crushed, that's a good question. Let's come over this way. I'm not even going to try to fill my cans, right? I'm just going to waste product. So if I have any cans that are damaged, they're going to kick off, right? I can't, I can't fill that can, right? So it doesn't even make it. This is a vacuum bridge. There is no conveyor system right here. If my cans make it across with a vacuum, I'm pretty confident I can seal them. Right. Okay. Yep. No, they are not sanitized here. They're sanitized before they come to us. Yep. So walk over the way this way now as well. So one thing that people don't realize is aluminum cans are notorious for static electricity. So if I ever have foreign material in my can. I need to be able to get that out. So before we fill our can, we invert our cans and deionize them. That removes static cling. So if there's anything that fell in there, cardboard dust or whatever the case is, it's going to fall out. And then I'm going to be clear to package. Okay? So step over this way and I'll show you that. Yep, I'll get to that in just a minute. <laughs> so there's multiple parts to this, this process, this operation. I've got a filler. There's two components to a can, a lid and a can, right? The body of the can and the lid. Yep. So my filler right here, which will get closer, and you can look at that. I know that's what everybody wants to see. That fills 500 units a minute. But i got to be able to put a lid on my cans as well. So I have a piece of equipment that will do that. So step right over here, and I'll show you that. Okay? So as my, as my system works its way down here, you're going to see a few things happen. This primed set of lids is going to transition into the feed conveyor. I'm going to strip this sleeve off of there and I'm going to reprime. So you're going to see it happen in one second right here. It's going to move forward. It's going to prime it. We're going to strip right there and then reprime right here. Okay. So from the beginning of the process, if you follow the chute all the way into my filler or into my seamer, I've got 8,000 lids. And that seems like a lot, but that's really only uh, a very short amount of time to run. 16 minutes of run time for us. Okay. So behind me, again, is what you want to see. So let's take a look at this really quick. I've got a 44 valve filler, six head seamer. Again, 30,000 units an hour. My cans are going to come into my filler. I'm going to have an infeed worm space my cans. I place my can into a valve. When my valve is open, I am going to flush my can with CO2, pressurize, fill, and release. 
Once I do all of that, my cans are gonna transition along this chain right here and into my seamer. That's where I place the lid on top of my can and make sure that I crimp it. Okay. Keep going this way. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna walk down here. Kind of, if you can stay with me, I'll show you this. So what you're gonna see here is once my cans come out of my seamer, they're gonna come out of here and they're about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The colder my product, the easier it is to inject CO2 or carbon dioxide into that product. But once I put a lid on my can, I technically don't know if I have enough volume in that can. But my check mat, which is basically, uh, it's a laser that tells me I've confirmed my fill height, will kick cans off if I haven't achieved that 250 milliliters at 8.4 ounces. If it kicks off five cans in a row, it stops the filler. So there's something wrong with me, you need to fix me. If it kicks the same, correct. If it kicks the same valve off five times in a row, five rotations, it'll shut off and say there's something wrong with this valve, you need to fix me. It's kind of unique, okay? Once I've cleared this, I'm going to invert my cans upside down. Now, there's a couple reasons why I do that. I put the date code on the bottom of my can so you know when my product expires. But if I'm going to have a lid failure on my product, I'm going to capture that in-house. The idea behind here is quality focus. Okay? From here, my cans are going to disappear into a pasteurizer. My pasteurizer serves two functions, okay? When I'm running a juice product, I need to pasteurize that or achieve 160 degrees Fahrenheit for at least five minutes. Once I've 160 Fahrenheit or 71C. So my cans are gonna disappear now for about 45 minutes. They're gonna be upside down through the pasteurization process. It's a pretty aggressive process, but we need to do that to make sure that we are controlling what our product's doing. Okay. This is a huge pasteurization tunnel. How many cans fit in here all at once? Yep, so when I have cans coming out of the discharge of my pasteurizer, I know this is full. I've got about 25,000 cans in here at any one time. Significant amount of volume. Okay. So I head this way now. I'm going to show you what the process looks like so when my cans come out, how I code them, how I package them, so on and so forth. And before we end this tour today, I have to show you what a variety pack looks like. So variety pack runs the number one skew for all of you, for us. So I need to make sure that I know how to, I can show you how that's being done. Okay. So we're gonna step over this conveyor, right? Or this uh, step over really quick. So don't mind the uh, the backside. And you actually have a really good view of the operation. So I'm gonna pause here right now and let you look at the operation and kind of see what all we do. So from wall to wall, I've got a 60,000 square foot packaging area. It's kind of works like a snake moves back and forth. And this allows us to utilize a, a lean focus. Uh, not a lot of employees sitting on top of each other. The idea here was to train our, our employees to be technically proficient, but invest in the equipment to make sure, again, that we can continue to produce quality supply product for our customers. So as cans come out of my pasteurizer, you're noticing I'm gonna go single file again along this conveyance system. That's how I code my cans. So my cans are gonna run through a coder. And then invert the way the and invert the way right side up. So we're gonna step down the stairs here. So we'll watch our steps. And once I've made it through this portion of the process, I'm basically green light to package my product to send to our customers. So you're gonna see my cans come into a variable pack or a variable pack for short, which is gonna package my product into a tray. I'm gonna date code it, I'm gonna put shrink wrap on it, that way our customers know when the stuff expires. So kind of watch the process right here. This, so this runs at 50 cases a minute, which means that this can actually outrun my filler. So what this will do is when it doesn't have a full conveyor worth of inventory, it doesn't stop, it just slows itself down. So it kind of works out well for us. Tray codes are, are my trays are pulled off of a, Magazine with suction cups, it's gonna write an incline guide. My cans will continue to move into my vario pack simultaneously and in conjunction, and I'm gonna form my tray around my can right here. From here, I'm gonna add glue. I'm gonna write incline guides, and by the time my trays go from right here to here, my glue is dry. 
I add a tray code onto my product right here so our customers know when this expires. I put shrink wrap around the case that's a lot to allow me to send this product to our customers. And then I send it through a heating tunnel. So you notice the film was pretty loose right here, right? I'm gonna walk through a heating tunnel and it's gonna adhere, it's gonna get tighter. See right here, this comes out pretty hot. I've got a pretty big fan right here that's gonna decelerate that temperature of the shrink film. Okay. And once I've got to here, I'm basically good to package this. So I'm gonna show you how we palletize this and send this to our distribution centers for our customers. So I've got more conveyance system that's gonna run along here, as you can see, and it'll meter itself into our palletizer. We send 224 cases per pallet to our customers. Our packer runs 50 cases a minute, so I'm making a pallet every four and a half minutes. A lot of inventory going to our customers in California, uh, Atlanta Distribution Center, and we also send our um, Canadian and Latin American products to our central warehouse. So I'll step over here really quick and you can kind of see how this process is gonna work. Notice when my cases come into my, into my palletizer, they're not all facing the same way. They can't. If they did face the same way, I'd have no pallet stability. Those pallets would collapse. You wouldn't get any product. You wouldn't consume any product because you'd be slowed down by that process. Once I have a full layer, it's going to compress and move onto a transfer table. That transfer table is then going to move on top of a pallet and pull the apron out from underneath it. So if we step over here really quick, I can show you this. So you're going to see this layer right here transition over my pallet after I set a slip sheet on there. Compression bar is going to swing down, hold the cans in place, pull the layer out. Very automated process. Okay. Once I've filled a full pallet, 224 cases, I'm going to put it through a Lantec stretch wrapper. This is more stability for our product because if I didn't do this, I can't promise you this is going to make it to our customers on a full pallet. It could spill over in the trailer. So the idea there is, again, that quality focus to get us there. So let's step over here really quick. I'm going to pause for a second. And surprisingly, that's the entire process for excess manufacturing. Now, we didn't walk through the mix area. It's a little bit hard to get people into there. Uh, but that's kind of what we got. Is there anything else you can think of before we walk to the variety pack side? Uh, no, this is incredible. I've seen manufacturing facilities before, but the level that we produce cans in here is incredible. So... This is amazing. And also for you guys watching live, something that you won't be able to experience through the screen, you need to come and, and take this tour for yourself. Right now we have mango pineapple guava on the line and the room smells like mango pineapple guava. It smells like we're walking through a can of excess because that's what's getting produced right now. It's kind of crazy. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you so much. I was, I'm excited to see the variety packs. Absolutely. All right. So that is... A day in the life of excess manufacturing. Now again, wall to wall, I've got 60,000 square feet. And I've got two people that run that. I've got a third person that will help support where needed, but a very lean operation. So very, very good for us. All right. So this is the packaging operation. For us, one thing that we saw when we first started here was we ran variety pack out of this operation. The day I started at Amway was the same day that we started Variety Pack. So we'll walk over here and I'll show you that. Step to this door right here. All right. So beginning of the process, I showed you a inbound warehouse full of empty cans. I'd say it's only fitting to show you a warehouse full of filled cans. So it kind of works out for us well. But right over here, I'm going to show you a... Oh, millions. I couldn't even I couldn't even put a number on it. Each each row right over here has got 45 pallets per row, so very, very easily a few million cans. What's interesting about it is all of these cans right here are not going to our customers in full pallets. No, these are specifically for variety pack. So for us, we have to build inventory. US Blast Variety Pack runs 12 flavors. So I need to figure out a way to do that. So we have them all staged within this warehouse right here. Kind of what we have. Hey, Shane. If you uh, if you haven't seen that Shane Block, he's actually on the Excess Nation website. He was our first champion. You see him with that gold chain on his neck. So there's Shane for you. All right. All right. 
So let me show you this process really quick. This is kind of unique. So again, U.S. Blast Variety Pack runs 12 flavors, right? I need to be able to put 12 cans on my line. So I've got four workstations. Squeeze through here really quick. Four workstations with three lanes on each. This is a very automated process. My cases are going to feed in the flow racks, and I've got a robot that's going to pull my cans out of my cases and set them onto a conveyor system. We step here a little bit closer. You're going to see how this works. This is black cherry cola being pulled out of a case and set onto a conveyor. This is going to feed into a main conveyance system, which you're going to see right here, which gives me my variety pack, my 12 cans. From here, I pick my cans up and I place them into a form tray. Once I've done that, I send my tray through a Tecra bundler and I've got to put it through another heating tunnel, right? I need to be able to give some sort of stability to that case. I started here at Amway on September 30th of 2019. That's the same day we started insourcing Variety Pack in this operation. And when I started here, we had a heck of a time doing 5,000 cases in a week and now we do 10,000 cases a day. So we've really optimized this process. How long did it take to set up all of this robotic equipment to be able to produce the variety packs? A uh, very short amount of time, a few months. Uh, we utilize a lot of uh, items that are already sourced here at Amway. So our tray former was already here. We just sourced it from another location. These robots, uh, pretty randomly, they're in stock, right? And um, we have many on complex here. So it didn't take very long to get set up. Um, to this level of automation, it took about a year. That's where we started seeing real real, uh, real utilization. We saw a big boom in our sales on Variety Pack as well. So we had to actually hire a second shift of people to run that for our customers. So very unique for us there um, to be able to do that. So this here, I see they're manually filling each each flavor and they're just continually rotating between each of the flavors, manually filling it? Correct. So I've got two technicians, one on each side that are filling cases into lanes. So again, U.S. Blast Variety Pack runs 12 flavors. So you see 12 different flavors on the line. As that runs, they will uh, uh, replenish those con those conveyors. Yep, absolutely. So Great. Okay. That's what I got. That is excess manufacturing start to finish. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, my goodness. This was such a treat. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for showing us the facility. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, I'm, I'm blown away at the grand scale of this and that it is now all within house. There was many years that we were doing this at a facility outside of Amway, but now that it's all in house and we don't have to worry about the, the third party, so much easier. So thank you for taking the time to show us around the facility today. And is this available if, if uh, business owners want to come and tour the facility? Is that something that's available and how do they do that? If people are interested in coming and touring the operation, I would say reach out to your marketing affiliate, get a hold of me. I love giving tours. It gets me out of the office, kind of break up the monotony of the day. I love doing this. I've done this so many times and it's exciting to see that smile on your face for everybody else. So I really enjoy doing this. If you're interested in coming down, please come down. I will make time in my day to give you a tour. Absolutely. Thank you again so much. So guys, I want you to tune back in in about 40 minutes time at 3 p.m. We are gonna have some very important guests coming on and sharing their favorite excess memories with you from the past 20 years. We have some third generation DeVos and Van Andel family members that are gonna be coming in special to chat with you. So 3 p.m. come live, we'll be live for that. We will see you soon. Thank you again. All right. Cheers, guys. Hey, Excess Nation. Welcome back. We are here celebrating the 20th birthday of Excess, and I am super excited. I have two very important guests with me today. They are third generation Amway founding family members. We have Kyle Van and Angel and Andrea DeVos. So can you tell us a little bit, for, for people who may not know about you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Do you want to start? Yeah, I'll start. Yeah. Um, hi everyone, that's Kyle, and uh, I'm a third generation founding family member. My parents are David and Carol, and my grandfather was Jay Van Andel. Um, been so excited about this 20th anniversary. I worked with Amway and Excess team many, many years ago for about four or five years and had the best time meeting 
all of you and working with the team and launching new products. And it's just been a really exciting time and I'm very happy to celebrate today. Awesome. Hi, you guys. I'm Andrea DeVos. I am Dick and Betsy's daughter and Rich DeVos's granddaughter. Um, I am so happy to be here to talk about Access today because normally I am talking about makeup and artistry and beauty, um, which is one of my passions. I have two little boys at home, so Access is really my happy, happy way to say, like, welcome to the afternoon and get a little caffeine boost. Um, so I am thrilled to be, be here with you guys today on the 20th anniversary. Amazing. Congrats <laughs> on your two little kids, by Thank the way. you. Andrea, while we're, while we're talking about excess of energy, can you share your uh, favorite memory or experience with excess for us? I think mine is pretty general. It's like it's always kind of like bonded my family together. It's something that all of us kind of use or drink. Um, and so all throughout the day, vacations, family gatherings, Christmas time, it's like excess has always been there. Um, so there's so many memories that come to mind, but also quite literally every afternoon I keep it in my garage fridge and I pull one out when I'm going to go do car line pickup and it makes me happy my whole drive. So it, <laughs> it is an ongoing memory. <laughs> I love it. The continual daily basis. Exactly. Reminder of the energy. And Kyle, what about you? Do you have a favorite memory or experience with access that you'd like to share? Absolutely. Well, first, I like to have it every morning. So when I wake up, I have some sort of joy to start the day. <laughs> yes. But then some of my favorite memories come from working with the access team and doing the launches. So I like Amway China launch comes to mind that three week yes! tour. That was uh, incredible, exhausting, but incredible to see China light up for access. Yes. And also to Amway Japan with their J-Style events. Those are incredible and so unique to that that market, but also it just brings so many people together. It does. I was actually, as I was asking you this question, immediately came to mind the San Francisco event that we did years ago that was for Amway China, correct me if I'm wrong, yes. and it was incredible. We had uh, blow up castles and everyone was climbing through it. It was like an adventure style race. Yep. I came out with so Bye. many bruises in places. I didn't know you could have bruises <laughs> from like jumping houses and handing out glow, uh, glow in the dark cups. They were light up cups. Yep. Be sure still have one of those at home. <laughs> that was it's such a fun experience. Oh, that sounds amazing. It was, it was, it was quite something. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like anytime an event involves excess, there's always fun to be had. Yes, absolutely. Exactly. Who knew that an energy drink would bring so many talents out of you that you didn't think you had? <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, question for you then, along those lines, how, what does the excess brand represent or mean to you from all these experiences? Well, from what I've gathered in the events and, my, and just me personally, excess is, is a lifestyle brand that is for anyone, but it's for those who are young at heart, right? And it, it brings out joy and fun and, and, and laughter and, and people together so yeah that's that's very yeah, true it's, people together yeah. exactly a lot of a lot of fun a lot of energy literally <laughs> and figuratively um and just yeah togetherness yeah i think that's a great way to put it togetherness right and that's that's part of the amway business as a whole is about family and unity and connection so it makes sense that the <laughs> yeah, exactly that the energy drinks help unite and bring that together right. even further. Well, and even with excess coming later into sort of the portfolio, it, it fit the mold of our four pillars of freedom, yes. family, hope, and reward. So exactly. it's a perfect addition and fit exactly. for the last 20 years. So Yes, it just adds that little adventure in there yeah. too, you know? Maybe we need a fifth pillar, yeah. adventure. <laughs> I love it. All right, perfect. Yeah, this is perfect. perfect. <laughs> adventure pillar coming soon. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much oh, for sharing and coming out today and, and celebrating with us. Enjoy the rest of the party. We have cake, so we're going to be cutting that soon. Yes. Definitely have to have a slice. Love cake. It looks like a taste of Laguna Beach. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> uh, you guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed some of our very VIP guests here today. Tune back in again in an hour's time at 4 p.m. We're going to have two more special guests that will have you in fits of laughter. We're going to have Josh Clark and Brandy Heiser. And they are going to be, yeah, they're going to be sharing some hilarious stories with you of their favorite adventures and memories of working with Excess over the last 20 years. So tune back in in an hour and we'll see you there. Right. Cheers. Bye, Bye guys. guys. And then Josh Clark.
who is the marketing director for Access, also known as the Swiss Army Knife, and they are going to be sharing some hilarious stories with you. So stay tuned and get your fingers ready because they're going to be asking you some important questions as well. All right, Brandy, thank share you, them man. stories. Thank you. Well, first of all, we want to say thank you to all of you. Um, I don't remember the last time we've been on camera together. Through COVID, it's, it's kind of been hard. Um, we really miss being at your events and on stages and just being in, you know, in, in your backyards, right? And being with all of you. So first of all, we're excited to be here. And of course, excited to be celebrating this amazing feat of 20 years together. Um, I think we are the longest XS team members standing. And so before we take you guys on a trip down memory lane, we want to crack the newest flavor with all of you. So just got a can. If you got one at home while you're watching, let's crack it together. All right. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Chef. Cheers, Brandy. Cheers. Team. So first of all, we wanted to talk a little bit, you know, September 13th, 2002, we're going to walk back a little bit Yeah. and let's talk, Josh, tell us what happened. Well, first of all, on Friday the 13th, because it was an actual Friday the 13th on the day of Excess's birth. So please share a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> In a time, a long, long time ago. Long time ago. We're telling stories. <laughs> but now. it was it was so wild back then. I mean, you have to think 2002, 20 years ago. And there wasn't a lot of promotion. There wasn't a lot of fanfare. There wasn't a banner on the Amway homepage. There weren't email blasts. We weren't in the catalog. <laughs> and we were launching on a Friday the 13th. And it was an energy drink, which at the time was pretty new, right? There was only a couple on the market. And it was kind of a new thing, especially for Amway. And so we were unsure what was going to happen. And we just went live on a Friday and then we went into the weekend when everybody was gone. So, so, it was so, a long wait, so wait, so wait, <laughs> so what do you guys think happened? You know, when everyone is sitting back who were huge, like we were huge advocates. I was actually on the beauty team at the time and yeah. we knew the excess team or what was partially, I guess, an excess team. It was, you know, a few IBOs, or a couple IBOs who were really, you know, huge advocates of this energy drink and, they brought it to Amway and they were able to get it in the hands of all of you. And what do you guys think happened, I guess? So the big question is what happened that weekend on Friday the 13th and into the weekend? What do you think happened on that Monday when everybody came back to work? Well, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to hear from them. I want to know what they have to say about it. But anyways, okay. So turn the story, right? Turn yeah. the chapter to the next chapter and what happened, Josh? So it, let's just say it was a long weekend, right? Because there were no updates. Amway's not working over the weekend. We don't get sales reports. We don't get numbers. We don't even know if it's We didn't have iPhones back then. So there was it. no texting us and telling us like, hey, this is happening. So no one That's knew it. what uh, was happening with the pulse of what had transpired on Friday with turning this product on. But we got a call first thing Monday morning. You did. <laughs> You got the call. I don't think he got the call. I didn't get the I call. Think, yeah, okay. I know some guys that got okay, the call. Got the call. Okay. <laughs> but we got a call, and it was almost a call in disbelief. Like, we don't know what happened, but you guys just sold out your entire projected inventory for six months in three days. So, team, I think that's when we all realized we had awakened a sleeping giant. And that giant is something that has come today to fruition that we call and embody our entire team, our entire family, all of you, Excess Nation. That's, right. I would say, Friday the 13th was the day that we awakened that sleeping giant. And I think, you know, Excess Nation to this day, all of you have carved new paths. You know, we didn't follow norms back then. I would say, you know, I sat on the beauty team in North America at the time and watched all of this unfold, right? And we were sitting there and we were just watching and, you know, the excess team, all of them, you know, they were a little bit disruptive. And I think that was what was exciting about it, because there was a unique aspect of all of you guys on the excess <laughs> team that kept, you know, it, it, it awakened the, the business and it kept us alive. It was really, really cool. Yeah. And we, I mean, if you've ever met us, if you've seen us, I've been around in 20 years. Hopefully I know a lot of you guys watching right now, but we just behaved a little differently. We did things a little differently and it wasn't to be intentionally disruptive. They Maybe didn't follow bit. processes. Just, it wasn't fair. Like different. sometimes we were saying, I remember <laughs> Kelly and I we were like, why did they get to do those things? Like we don't get to go do that. But yeah. it was it was cool because I think 
for a lot of us, especially, you know, when you look at creating a youth culture, a lot of these things that these guys did, which was come into the, the different leaderships and to the different groups, right? And the, just having parties and allowing for this youth culture to come alive, which I think was truly inspirational. And it was something that none of us, it was, it was really unexpected. And I think that was also something that was really unique about the relationship with Access and Amway back in that time frame. Yeah, and we kind of stumbled along. Like, we didn't always know what to do, but we tried. And we didn't always know all the answers, but we didn't let that hold us up. We just kept going and learned along the way. And that kind of just perpetuated this funny thing that became the Access Nation and the Access Vibe. And yeah, it was amazing. And and I do think some of the really exceptional work that was done was that this team was pioneers in a position like around the Zero Revolution and the sugar-free movement. So back in the day when there was low-calorie dieting and things like that and people sacrificed taste, right? So everything had the word diet on it, whether it was diet soda or diet pop, whatever. People were choosing that. And when the team came along and really pioneered in this area around this zero revolution and sugar-free movement, but they didn't sacrifice taste. And I think that was what really was embodiment of this brand. We were like, you know, we're gonna be all of those things, but we are going to taste freaking great. And that was something that to this day, I mean, for all of you that just cracked the watermelon lemonade, the anniversary, the limited edition flavor, you all know that we were not going to sacrifice taste. And I always say to the team, we are not going to put anything out that we won't choose to drink ourselves yep. and we feel good about it. And I think, you know, we can stand here today and, you know, I always tell all of them, you know, we have to feel good about it. We have to know that we would purchase this product if we were, you know, on the outside as a customer, you know, and that's something we've always really been strong about. And yep. so just really, you know, the the claim that we have is we were the first exclusively sugar-free energy drink brand sold globally. And that is a claim that it's a first and, you know, only, and we will always have that. And again, I just, as a, you know, being in a marketing, you know, position and, and helping to be like the captain of the ship, I will say, I'm, I'm very proud of this team, but more than anything, proud of all of you because you all continue to lead and sell and support Excess as a team. Um, oh, Steve says, let's get a shout out to um, Zachary, Tito, oh, and yeah. Maurice for and being Maurice. there. Maurice, what up, Maurice? So, from the start. They've been there <laughs> yeah. since the start. So, I know hey, you. and Renee, major <laughs> shout out to the happening? team. So, you guys, again, you know, just want to make sure anybody that has been around and I know there's a lot of leaders out there that have been with us from the start. And I remember some of them, you know, we've grown up in the business together, right? In the Amway business together, we've grown up and we've supported each other. We've seen you all have kids and through our, our relationships with having kids and marriages and weddings and all of that. And just want to say, we appreciate every single one of you. And I would like to ask all of you actually. So, you know, one of the things we, as a global brand, you know, Excess is in, you know, 60 markets now. And, you know, for those in the U.S., you guys are familiar with energy plus function. So we've been doing a lot of like, this is energy plus burn, the strawberry flavor that we have. And then we also have, um, this was launched in Japan, Japan, and this is energy plus immunity. And this is also a great product that's a functional energy drink beverage. And then we also have extra zoom and focus. So we wanted to ask you guys all a question because as we look at the future and the portfolio of what excess looks like from a product standpoint, what type of functional energy drink would you guys like to have and would you like to support or what do your customers want, right? Yep. So please help us like, you know, carve out the new path for excess as we look to energy plus functional beverages and, um, and flavor. So yeah. let us know in the chat because we love this dialogue with you guys. We love to crowdsource. We want you guys to be the voice of what you want. So tell us what flavors, what functions, what should we be looking at that will work well for you and your business? Because I think one thing is you guys actually crowdsourced this packaging. Like we gave you quite a few to look at. And, you know, I remember the team was up actually counting the number and with, with little ticks, like uh, this is how many this this design got. But what we always want to make sure, uh oh, and I said we shout out to people. Jose and Kennedy. Yep, there we're what up, Jose? Major what up, shout Kennedy? Out. Major shout out. But um, I, I just want to say, you guys are the reason. The one thing that's been also so unique about the XS brand is the partnership 
with the independent business owners and the relationship that we have with all of you because at the end of the day you guys are the ones that are giving us the ideas inspiring all of the creative behind what we do and you know it's such a deep partnership because we don't exist without you and um just want to make sure that you guys know how much we love support you and appreciate you so yeah. we will be looking to all of you to help us create you know what the next 20 years looks like for access especially in this new journey as we go into the next you know couple decades i mean yeah. i don't know if any of you guys remember i actually brought my vest it was um, <laughs> a decade of awesome right so 10 yeah. years was the decade of awesome this is the two decades, the um, the 20 years of adventure together. And I did want to talk a little bit before we close about experiences, right? So one of the things that Rich and Jay, you know, as founders of Amway have always been such a, you know, they, they were pioneers. They were pioneers in adventure. They were, you know, before Google and before anything happened back in the early 1940s, you know, Rich and Jay, they were sailing. They said, you know what? We're going to go on a sailing trip. Now, how many of you, when you guys go on a sailing trip, you, I think a lot of you are going to have a, a chart, you know, to where you guys are going. You're going to probably have become experts in sailing. You're going to know exactly what to do. And what I want to tell you is they were going to take a trip from the east coast of the U.S. and they were going to travel to Latin America. But what was unique about Rich and Jay, when I say they're pioneers in adventure, it's because they didn't know how to sail. And they took off on this sailboat and they endured all kinds of things, major obstacles that charted them off course, even to the point where they sunk their ship off the coast of Florida between Florida and Cuba, right? Yeah. They sunk their ship. And if it wasn't for a passing freighter who identified that they were a sinking ship and picked <laughs> them up, I mean, you know, you think about that. How many of you, I mean, I don't know, my kids, I know all of us, yep. you know, you go right to YouTube when you don't know how to do something. Imagine taking on something new like Good that time. and just saying like, we're going to go do this and we're going to learn as we go. And I think that is such a pioneering type of mentality. And not only that, when they did that, the ship sank, they got on board this freighter and these guys said, okay, you can come on board, but you have to work to pay for your trip, right? No brainer. So, no, no brainer, <laughs> right? So you're going to work. So the Rich and Jay worked on that ship. They earned money. And you know what it was all about for them? Was earning enough money so that they could continue on with their next adventure. So the journey for them was the combination, the crossroads of combining adventure and entrepreneurship. Yeah. And if that is not what Excess stands for, we have taken the DNA of Rich and Jay and continued to embody it into this brand. And we will everything forever, we everything we do, will be at the crossroads of adventure and entrepreneurship, yep. just like Rich and Jay did. And I just wanted to share that experience with you because, you know, we all have a lot of really favorite experiences and, you know, things and stories we've heard. I don't know, yeah. Josh, what's your favorite experience? I mean, you've been around a oh long time. You've seen yeah. a lot. Now tell a story you can tell on camera, okay? <laughs> like, tell, tell a story we can share with Excess Nation. One one day, I promise you, we'll do Excess behind the scenes, 20 <laughs> yeah, years. behind the can. We always say what happens behind, behind the, can. the can, yeah. No, but, I mean, in 20 years, it's been amazing. I. You know, I gave myself the title of Swiss Army Knife because I've got to do everything with the excess brand over 20 years. And what a blessing. And the biggest one was actually just getting to meet all of you, to interact with the, the excess nation all over the globe and every market and see this business and this brand within this business everywhere we go, what people are doing with it. And we've actually been inspired and implemented so many things that we've done just from watching what you guys are doing in the field, it's it's been phenomenal. And my favorite part probably are all the launches. The launches are great. Every time we get to go to a new market and people have seen what XS has done in other markets, but they haven't had it on their own yet, they're just absolutely electric. And we do fun events, we do fun parties, we do fun activities, we do fun adventures. Every time it's unique. And I would say the other thing outside of that is really just trying new things what we've said as an excess brand like pushing yourself a little further each day scaring yourself a little each day trying something new sharing the product through shared experiences um and and that's what i've done so i mean from learning how to surf uh from going down a black diamond mountain bike hill and crashing in whistler <laughs> canada like 
it didn't matter. We just put ourselves out there and tried new things. I've done things I never thought I would do in my life because of this brand and because of our mantra and our lifestyle. It's been it's been phenomenal, and I thank you for it, Exodus Nation. Yeah, and and you know we want to hear from you. Put in the chat. You're like, tell us, give us a rem a memory that you have of your favorite experience with XS or, you know, just within your business, like what, and with your customers, what, what really comes to mind when you're on stage and you talk to other people about that memory, right? And, and but you're not it, off the hook yet. Yeah. What's, <laughs> What's what my are favorite your memory? Favorite? Gosh, I, um, <laughs> probably I would say, you know, I could go into so many achievers memories and, you know, I would say, you know, some of the memories of going into your, you know, your stages and getting to meet, you know, your your leaders within your groups and like, you know, some of the, the, the contrast of like working with Tony Papalardo and like just like the teams and being able to express ourselves and be unique and be dynamic and and like, you know, going to Diamond Club. I mean, how many times did you know, we, we've had so many opportunities in this brand, right, which I think within anything that Amway has is it expresses opportunities. I mean, you know, Kyle Van Andel and Andrew DeBus, they were just here and sharing in, you know, stories and, and seeing the G3 come to life and, and being able to work with them. And, and really, I think, you know, what we've been able to build is this unique youth culture at Amway. Yeah. And whether it's inside of Amway, I've worked with Build Young Leaders inside of Amway, in the actual headquarters and around the world, but also in the field, you know? And at the end of the day, if somebody says, Brittany, why do you why do you love it so much? I, I always tell, you know, my kids, it's like, you have to find a job that isn't a job. You know, it has to be something that you actually love to do. I mean, my grandparents were, both sides of my grandparents were in this business. And, you know, my grandma gave me a pin, right? She gave me a pin, um, her pin when she succeeded at Amway, you know, as they've gotten older and she started to give us yeah. things. And I look at that and there is a piece of the legacy of everything that I know and exactly what, you know, we're sharing here today the legacy of adventure, the legacy of, of entrepreneurship, the legacy of experiences. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, before we close, you know, and, you know, we always wear these, you know, excess captain and we, we call ourselves pirates sometimes and not to be, not to be, you know, in the face of anything or disruptive in that way, but just to say, hey guys, we believe in, in, in all of you and whatever that uniqueness is to you and, and your team, we want to be part of it. So invite us in, ask us to be part of your experiences, your dream, your yep. life. And um, we will be there for all of you. I know, you know, we get calls from like Theo saying, hey, can you fix this video for me? I want this. And we're like, hands down, we'll do it yeah. for you. Turn it around overnight for his event the next day. I mean, there's been so many times where, you know, we are here for you, right? And so, you know, Excess has always been about the experience, creating it, cultivating, it, expressing it, being part of it. And we will continue to deliver on that. And, you know, at the end of the day, positive energy, positive energy. to all of the world. Experience more. Experience <laughs> more. So cheers to all of you. The 20th celebration is because all of you. So yep. thank you so much for tuning in, you guys, and being a part of this. We, you know, just appreciate you more than you could ever know. So happy birthday to Excess Nation. Cheers, Excess Nation. We love you guys. Thank you. And he has some very important messages to share with you. So, Lars, take it away. Thanks, Nick. Thanks. Guys, it's amazing to be here with you guys. It's amazing to enjoy the celebration, to be a part of it. If you guys seen me on stage, if you guys seen me around the world, this is my, my favorite way to start is this. The sound of freedom. The sound of, in Spanish, we say, el sonido de la libertad, which is just the noise that freedom makes. And it could mean this for you and your business. And let me share it with you guys. That to me is the sound of freedom and it tastes amazing. So what we've done around the world, it's it's just phenomenal. We thank you guys. This partnership, I was hearing all the guys talking about their favorite things in Excess. One of my favorite parts about being in the Excess brand and working with you guys is that atmosphere you guys bring, all that uh, culture you guys bring to us, all this language. Because even though I've been around 18 countries personally launching and, and having a good time, Everyone speaks the same language, which is the entrepreneurship language, which is your dedication, which is the way you guys see the world through excess, through Amway, through the lifestyle you guys can have. And one of the things that everyone tells me is like, guys, this is the best product. Not only is it the best product that Amway has, in my opinion, it is the best tool you can have 
for your business. This isn't a product, guys. It's a tool you can use for your business to build it, to share it, to have people ask you about your business. Hey, where do I get that? Hey, what is that? Can I try it? So it leads to natural conversations around the world where you can talk about your business and it gives you the it gives you permission to talk about what you're doing. So this partnership, it, it's created amazing things. I've seen the growth within all of you guys, everyone I've gotten a chance to meet from people in Barbados to Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, everywhere, their growth has been phenomenal. I've seen it in the US, um, we've grown quite a bit. We've had a bunch of people come and ask us like, hey, where, where can we get these type of shirts? Where, Laz, like, how can we get them? There are certain things I like to give back to the community. One of the things is custom-made shirts, custom-made gear that you guys can use for your own event. You know, like this shirt, we're going to bring it out. It's not going to be an excess gear. I'm sorry, but we're going to have it at an event. So if you guys want to partner with us and have cool gear like that, have your leaders talk to us. Have them come reach out to us, and we'll be more than happy to produce this for you. We'll be more than happy to bring something exclusive for your event, for your group, just to share the excess story, the excess story among you guys. So one of the ones that stands out the most is we were in Colombia. We did a launch in Colombia. We were there for 30 days, 28 cities. I trained over 35,000 people. They had a forecast for nine months. And uh, they said it was a pretty strong forecast. Nothing was going to happen. I was back home when we launched it. So when the launch day comes, six in the morning, my phone starts blowing up. I didn't answer until I got one of the main executives out there call me. And I answered and he told me, Laz, I don't know what we're going to do, but our nine month forecast has just sold in three hours. So, and not only that, the cool thing is we've seen this all around the world. We saw it in the US, we saw it in China, we saw it in Japan. And it's just a culture that you guys bring to us, a language that is amazing. It's amazing for us to just share with you guys. And these last 20 years, I've been around as a platinum. I was a platinum IBO. Now I'm here in the team for 13 years. It's been amazing. It's been something I love to do. I can't wait to meet all of you guys. Come say hi at Achievers. If I see you guys at Achievers, shout out to everyone in California, New York, from coast to coast. We love being with you guys. So guys, stay tuned. We have some great things coming up. The next guy that's going to talk, he's, he's done some great things for us. We, you know, We're very excited to what is coming for the next 20 years. So guys... Thank you for being with us. Thank you for sharing. And um, si hablan español, pasense a mi página. Voy a compartir un poquito. Éxito, muchachos. See you guys. Thank you, Laz. Amazing. So, guys, we have coming up in 50 minutes at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Ben Shannon, our director of social media. Him and I are going to have a little arm wrestle. And we're going to give out I some prizes. I, I'm sorry to say I got my money on Nick. <laughs> got some guns. <laughs> sorry. Whoever picks the winner is going to get some prizes. Tune back in and we'll hear some things about social media and access over the years. But mostly, Ben and I are going to play some games. We're going to pick some winners and give away some prizes. That's the main event. Let's be real. Everyone wants excess gear and excess prizes. So tune back in at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to continue going live and we'll be back then. See you guys soon. Keep celebrating. Bye. All right, All right XS Nation. Welcome back to our 20th birthday celebrations here with Ben Shannon. What's up, XS Nation? And uh, we got a team behind us. So, <laughs> as we said earlier, <laughs> Ben and I are going to do an arm wrestle. Sponsored by Excess Muscle Multiplier. I saw Nick take a few scoops before this, so I don't know if it's going to be I got to get all the help I can get. I don't know if it's going to be a fair game. So uh, what we want you to do is pick your winner. Pick your champion and comment pick in. Nick. Yes, pick Nick. Yes, pick Nick. Yes. 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 All right. Yes. So I share. You. Share in the comments whose team you're going for, and then we're going to ram randomly give prizes out to whoever picks the correct winner. Whoever wins this, uh, Ben, Ben or me. There's a lot at stake here. Yeah. Oh, too bad. Oh, come on, I need some support. Those are my people. Those are my come people. On. Someone needs to give me some support. Someone I just back want to me. say I saw her take muscle multiplier before this, so I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Whatever uh, happens. It wasn't just one scoop. Yeah! All right. So, uh, let's go. Are we ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I was born ready. Okay. Let's go, Nick. All right. Come on. 
Share some prizes. Let's get this table out of the way, and then we'll. Oh, thank you, too. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Let's settle down here. <laughs> yeah, Miranda. I don't know. It didn't. I was Miranda. Really tickled. I don't know. Miranda. <laughs> Miranda. 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 What, what did Miranda win? Michelle. What did Michelle, Michelle Miranda. Miranda? Sorry, Michelle Miranda. I know win? you didn't pick me, but congrats. <laughs> We're Last finding out what you won. Give us one second. Some excess koozies. Everyone Big loves win. A, yeah, Big everyone win. loves a good excess koozie. Ooh. Ooh, Renee. Hey, what does Renee get? Renee. Renee. Yes. Oh, little brass hey, blush. There she is. We love him. Yes. Looks familiar. Yeah. yeah. Kissed by excess body. How sweet. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. Who else we got? <laughs> All right. From the team, Nick. Tahina Ooh. Tahina, Tahina Florence. Florence. Ooh, hat. great gift to him. Oh, An excess 20th anniversary hat. The Big question time. is, though, do you want this hat or do you want the worn and lost in hat by Ben Ooh. Shannon? Ooh. Ooh. A game worn hat? Yeah, game Could worn it hat. Ooh. I'm happy to give this up. I'm happy to give it up. Oh, okay, all right. But well, I'm you, let us, know. you let us know. Because my hair looks weird, so. <laughs> all right, we got a hat coming your way. Cool. It probably won't be the one that I'm wearing, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Fair, fair. You can, he can wear it for a little long gun. All right, who else do we got? Kimberly Sandoval. Kimberly Sandoval. Hey, right. yeah, nice Kimberly. Oh, right. Got... <laughs> you have a hat coming Ooh, your another way. excess 20th anniversary hat with the beach edition. Beach edition also looks like the cake for the 20th anniversary, so oh, it could sure. be cake edition hat. Both. 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 Why don't excess we do both? Beach cake. Yes. Both. All right. All right. Coming your way. Perfect. And we have. Oh, Jose, yes. my guy. Jose, are you serious? We voted for Nick. We got to work out. We got to work out together. All right. I was going to take Muscle Multiplier. Excess Tumblr pack coming your way. Your nice. way Jose. You'd be sipping Muscle See Multiplier all day long with that. All right. This is our last prize, our last giveaway. I feel like this last one. Laura Cardenas, we with have the big yes. grand prize, excess 20th anniversary hydro flask. Yes, yes. live win. by big this. Win. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Hydration is key. It is. We love it. it. Guys, I'm going to reach out to all of you who just won a prize. I'll get your addresses, I'll send them out to you. Don't worry, you'll be getting it soon. Congrats Amazing. to those winners. Yes. Congrats to Nick for beating me in arm wrestling. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but I gotta get back in the gym. Need some more muscle multiplier in those arms. Hit the curls. <laughs> don't we all, right. though? Should we get ben, into you did, you did good. You did good. So, yeah, let's get into this. So, tell me, Ben, you've been with Excess quite a while now. Yeah. You've been working it with the social team, in the social team, heading it up. Tell me how that is. What is it like a day in the life of Ben Shannon? It's awesome. It's awesome. I'll start right there. Um, so, yeah, I've been with Excess for six years. And I don't know how that happened. Like, it seems like I blinked from day one and now I'm here, which has been such an amazing journey. Um, shout out to the team. Josh Clark introduced me to the brand six years ago. I met everybody in Laguna Beach. Hey! And uh, it's been such an incredible journey, an amazing ride. And I gotta say, working in social media, it, at times is not a glamorous job and it can be, uh, it can be a lot. Working for Excess Nation Social it's is different. different. Yeah. It's different because we have this built-in community of amazing supporters and people. All of you, you guys are always bringing the positive yeah. energy. Yeah. And literally, I wake up every morning and I'm like, I, I get to go work with Excess. I get to work yeah. with all of you, for all of you. I love bringing the fresh new content, working with creators like Nick. Some of our ambassadors, we've had some like amazing times. Such good times. Some seriously amazing memories. So much fun. 
and it just warms my heart when I open up like our Instagram channel and I see your comments just just hyping us up, man. You guys always bring positive energy. There's so many social channels out there that, that people are always spamming and talking smack, but you guys are like so positive and I love it. I feel like you've also done a great job at not only curating our XS Nation feed, but helping to lift the entire community and the caliber of content that you guys are producing. Like some of the stuff that I've seen from our community after what Ben has been posting is just is amazing. The, the caliber of reels that's coming out and the photos and videos has just been lifted from all of the hard work that you've been doing. Well, thank you, Nick. That is uh, very kind of you to say. Um, but honestly, yeah, that was part of the goal from day one mm. was how do we do this as a community? Um, it starts with us. We have to be that lead example. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys answered the call. Like, it was so cool to see the growth and evolution of all of your guys' content and your posts and your participation in campaigns that we've had, like the Use One Share One campaign, yeah. Adventure Reimagined, Excess Fit in 30. Yes. We've had some seriously fun campaigns back in the day, and you guys all participated, and you went above and beyond in creating some really epic content. And like to this day, I go into our, like our tagged spots on Instagram, and I'm like looking at some of the reels you guys are creating. It's, it's so creative. creative. Oh, exactly. I'm taking some notes. I'm yeah. like, these guys are good. Yeah, yeah. Like exactly. shout out to some of you creators out there. I, I, I got my eye on you. You guys are really good, it's and good. Uh, and we love on. sharing your stuff. So yeah. So keep creating. Keep getting. Uh, funky and creative with it and uh keep trying new things and tagging us because we love to see it and you guys are just such an awesome community to be a part of it's been just a dream it's been a while right I, yeah. I have i have a question so this is our 20th anniversary there's been a lot of reflection over the last i don't know eight hours that we've been here so i want to know looking forward like what is yeah. it for you that you're looking forward to over the next year next two years at excess nation what Things that you're excited about, what projects, what shoots, like what are you most excited about at Access Nation? Uh, well, here's the thing with Access and social media. This has uh, always been, I feel like our strong point is, is that we are lean and agile and we grow and we evolve as social media changes. You guys out there know social media in general is different than it was six months ago. And so we always got to be on our toes. Yep. We got to be ready to change with the trends. Yep. And we feel like we've always done a pretty good job of that, but that's going to be a really high importance for me moving forward is, mm -hmm. is keeping on those trends yep. so that we're yep. providing you guys with the most inspirational, entertaining, educational content that's going to make you a better version of yourself and make us a better version of ourselves. Yep. So we're going to keep elevating the brand through our content, through our partnerships, we have a ton of fun shoots coming up. Yeah, I love uh, it. A big priority for us is global content. Um, so, you know, in the past, we've been heavy uh, ANA, USA. Um, but I've got some really fun projects going on with some, some countries like Japan. I work with Thailand, yes. Europe. Like, we're, we're going global, baby, and it's really fun. And so all of you out there in Global Access Nation, like, Let's take this journey together. I want to see what you guys do too. Yeah, share share with us what you want to see on social media for Excess Nation. Yeah, drop it in the comments. I'm taking notes. Yeah, let us know. And then also go out there and create some of that content too. Like be the change you want to see in Excess Nation. You be the, be well, the catalyst. That's a good point because we found some of our ambassadors through social media. Absolutely. Through them tagging Excess Nation. Yeah. And, uh, and we're really excited to introduce some of them to you guys too because we have a few of them that, that aren't publicly announced yet. Yeah, exactly. And so stay tuned. We have some really cool new partners coming. Yeah. And uh, it might be you next. I don't know. See what you got. That's up to you guys. And I think I think this is a great segue. I've, I've loved chatting with you, Ben. Uh, I'm excited to share what we actually have coming up next is along the lines you're talking about with the global partners. Yep. So we're in 59 different countries around the world. and. They're super excited, obviously, to celebrate with us for the 20th birthday of Access. So coming up in about 50 minutes at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, some of our global partners have messages for us, yeah. wishing us happy birthday, sharing their stories. So yeah, we'll just super fun insight from from around the world. Yeah, Access exactly. is, is we're global, baby, and we are 
positive energy around the world. We're taking over. It also right. will give you a great idea of not just what it's like here in North America, but where you can expand to. We're, we're Absolutely. Global. So, yeah, check back in with us again in 50 minutes at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you'll hear from some of our global partners. All right. Thank you, Ben, so much for your thank time. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, everybody at the XS Take Station. Care, bye. Love you guys. Hey, Access Nation, welcome back. We are still here celebrating Access's 20th birthday today. And now we have some lovely messages from some of our global partners. So we're going to share those with you. Hi, I'm Imran Zaman, the Chief Digital Marketing Officer for Europe, Southern Africa, Australia, New Zealand. And I want to just share something really special, which is all about celebrating the Excess brand, which is actually 20 years anniversary. So it's actually been part of my journey in Amway, where I've been with the company over 24 years, and I've seen the Excess brand grow over that time. This is going to be 20 years of amazing adventure that this brand facilitated and really uh, we could enjoy with. So it's one of our best brands. I love traveling, I love sport, and it's great when you look back and you think back, oh, wow, what 20 years we have lived, and wow, I can't think about the next 20 years which I've got. Obviously a great user of the brand. We've seen great products like the excess power drinks and the excess force nutrition. For me personally, I've been using obviously the Amino Advantage product as part of my training regime. And when you ask me training regime, well, actually I'm gonna go and climb Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania in a couple of weeks. I'm Italian, I love spending summer time in Italy on the beach when it's very hot and there will, there will always be a chilled out uh, uh, excess can close to me. I have two, I, am, I consume several, but I have two. One is the magnesium sticks that I use when I feel some fatigue and or when I'm doing a lot of sports and tell me to recover fantastically. Amazing taste, lemon taste, that's great. And the second one is the product we just launched, which is called the Power Water Plus Collagen and Biotin. It's a, a great product to uh, help you to recover from fatigue and at the same time it takes care of your skin, hair and nails. So Excess is an amazing brand because uh, it's uh, our best way to attract to the Amway business uh, people who are under 35. But most importantly also about this brand is how it's evolving. It's evolving to support your business not just for today, but also the future. And the future is all about ensuring that the next generation of leaders can build obviously around the excitement of the brand, which all focuses around adventure, around lifestyle, and encompasses great products. The other key thing I think is important for all of us to celebrate this is that it's a journey that begins with you as leaders and will continue to help build obviously your community. Happy 20th year anniversary. Hi everyone, Peter Stratum here from Amway Japan and there's a reason I'm hugging this can over here is to say a big congratulations to the XS Global team on a, their 20 year anniversary or as we say here in Japan, Omerito uh, gozaimasu. We are super excited about the anniversary and we just want to say that this brand right here has been a game changer. Uh, the reason we have so many young people joining our business, in fact, 50% of people joining our business here in Japan are in their 20s and 30s, and it's largely because of this brand right here. And uh, I personally have so many wonderful memories of Access right around the world, um, from basketball tournaments here in Tokyo to a sailing event we're going to be enjoying in Barcelona in just a couple of months. So I just want to say thank you again to the global team. Big thanks to our ABOs for making Access what it is, and we are super excited about the future of the brand here in Japan. Thanks to Stack, all the best. Access, 20岁生日快乐. It's such a pleasure to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Access with all of you. I still remember the grand launch of Access five years ago in August 2017. 
One million cans were sold in time it takes to listen to your favorite song. Ten million cans were sold on the first day launch. Within a couple of weeks, China was already the second largest market for excess globally. But really, that was just the beginning of the excess story in China. This burst of energy brought so much more to China than just a huge sales volume. Here is a photo from an early excess party. I get a boost just thinking back to that night. The truth is, prior to the grand launch of excess in China, MWE China had never hosted any party activities with our ABOs. Excess opened our eyes to a new way of marketing, a disruptive and a game-changing one. It was our first experiential and lifestyle brand. Early on, we were reluctant to be connected with adventure sports, thrill seekers, parties, and rock and roll. We thought it would be out of touch with our ABOs, who are typically in their early 40s. It turned out we were wrong. As you can see, Access blew our expectations away. We hit 50 parties in over 30 cities with more than 40,000 ABOs coming out to celebrate with us together. I saw many seasoned partners getting along with the young people, drinking, sharing, dancing, exploring. All of our ABOs and MW leaders were fully involved and absorbed in the Access events, bursting with energy. As the slogan says, together we can. Access is not just a drink, but an attitude and a lifestyle. It encourages us all to seize new and bigger opportunities each and every day. Time flies. It's 20 years since Access was born, and it's the fifth year in China. These past five years have been brilliant, while I believe the best is yet to come. Happy birthday, Access! Access, 생일 축하합니다. I will tell you my favorite Access memory. Actually, we have too many, but the most unforgettable memory was uh, when we launched Access brand in Korea and when we had Access pool party. There are so many milestones of Access when we are able to provide many customers with fun and energetic uh, experience. Going forward, uh, we were super excited about how Access brand experience will evolve to the next level. We will support Access with full of my heart to become more favorite uh, sports nutrition brand to all ABUs and customers. Thank you. Bye. 生日快乐, XS. Congratulations, XS, on a great 20 year anniversary. I'm glad I get to celebrate this amazing moment with you. I love XS so much because it's a cool, young, and full of energy. I always bring XS with me during my workout. It's not just an energy drink, I believe it's a lifestyle. I love all the products, and for sure, this is my favorite. We are very excited because XS will go beyond just an energy drink. We will step into the sports nutrition market and become a more iconic brand. Together, we will make Access and Mway bigger and better. Shenkuala from Taiwan! Cheers! สวัสดีค่ะขอแสดงความยินดีกับ Access ครบรอบ20ปีนะคะ I still remember the day Access first launched energy drink in Thailand with a very warm welcome from Thai ABOs. Today, we just launched our first SS Spot Nutrition, SS Essential Amino Acid, and get really well response from our ABOs. I believe that there's many opportunities and possibility out there for SS to achieve and be leading spot nutrition brand in Thailand. Let's celebrate for being able to make a significant space for ourselves and hope to keep achieving new milestones and beat our own records. Thank you. Access has been such a big part of my personal journey at Amway, in part because I was lucky in the roles I've had and when Access came along. Being a part of the 
marketing and sales teams in North America when we first launched Excess, uh, as well as being the managing director of Amway Japan when we launched Excess in Japan. And I remember when we were going through the process of figuring out should Excess look and taste different in Japan compared to the US product. And I had a lot of experts in Japan telling me that we needed excess in Japan to be like Japanese energy drinks. They should be in little brown bottles and have a heavy taste of vinegar. And they should truly be just a shot of energy, not a refreshing drink, because that's not what an energy drink was in Japan at that time. And then I had David Vanderveen and the team in the US challenging me to think differently. And so we went out and talked to our biggest Japanese leaders who really had a vision for the future of what excess could be. And we asked them that question and they unanimously came back and said, we want the American version of excess. We don't want it to be tailored to the Japanese market because it's that uniqueness, it's that genuineness of the excess product and the excess brand that is what will stand apart in the Japanese market. And we took their advice, we launched the product uh, very similar to the flavor profiles and of course the can and, and the drink as it was in the US and it's proven to be such a big success in Japan. I think that was a great lesson too in understanding that all the market research and focus groups in the world are helpful but at the end of the day, when we talk to our leaders and we partner together with them to get things right, we usually do. And the results in Japan, I think, have spoken for themselves. As I look to the future, thinking back on the 20 years of incredible success that we've had with the Excess brand, I can't help to wonder, what are those things that are gonna be a part of the future of our business that will provide the type of energy and momentum and sort of jolt of entrepreneurship that Excess has. And, and the future of Excess, I think, may surprise us as well. And I think that's what's so great about the Amway business and about Excess as a part of our business is that all those traits and qualities are important, but really the brand and the product and the experience is so much about the people. It's about our IBOs who bring it to market. It's about the way that we partner with our IBOs and our IBO leaders to make improvements, design experiences, and make it real in a way that makes Excess and the Amway business appealing to a whole generation of consumers and entrepreneurs. And as I think about what the opportunity for the future holds for all of us and for Excess in particular, I can't wait to see what that looks like. And I'm excited to be a part of that journey as well. Tahina, you said it right. We are here for global domination. I hope you guys enjoyed all of those messages from our global partners. I feel like this is a great opportunity for us to talk about where we're going in the future. So I am so excited for who is coming at 8 p.m. We have Rob Missman. He is the Excess and Fitness Manager, and he is going to be talking about where Excess is going for the next 20 years. So far, we've talked about everything leading up to today, the last 20 years of Excess, but now it's time to look forward talk about the future and let's see how we're going to achieve this global domination. So tune back in again at 8 p.m. and we will have Rob here and he's going to share some really exciting insights into where we're going as a team together. We'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Let's to talk about the future of Access. So we've just gone over the last 20 years, what we've done to get here today. And now we're going to look at the next 20 years and where we're going from here. Rob, thank you so much. Take it away. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, Excess Nation? Heading into our 11th hour today, going live from our Excess Experience Center. Just want to say thank you to everybody else before who represented a lot of what was amazing that we built this such an amazing business off of over the last 20 years. 
we couldn't be more excited about what's to come here in the future. Uh, 11 hours of great, great content, great information, great things that are happening today in the business. Great products, great brand, great overall experience. Now let's talk about the future. Over the last 20 years, we've really been centered around uh, being at the crossroads of uh, adventure and opportunity, helping everybody who experiences the XS brand experience more, get more out of their everyday adventures, feed their adventure lifestyles. Now let's just talk about the future. Let's shift gears a little bit. When we think about the what we've centered ourselves around historically is around that being the most positive energy brand around the entire globe. Let's actually think about back when we made our first adventure, our first dip of our toes in 2015 into sports nutrition. That was a new adventure for us as we started to get into that space. We've learned a ton since then. It's 2022. We actually have learned so much. We believe that that's our big investment we want to make in the future. We've got products today across the globe that center around helping individuals energize their fitness adventure, their workouts with our sports nutrition products, help them maintain their hydration through active lifestyle, through their fitness adventures, help them strengthen, build lean muscle, help them be able to burn fat while maintaining lean muscle, and help them to recover faster, better, stronger than before. We're going to take that knowledge, take that expertise that we built up, and we're going to invest more in the future. You should expect more from us in sports nutrition. You should expect more out of our products, more out of the value and the content and everything we're going to provide you beyond the products as well to help you get stronger, hit those fitness goals, hit your active lifestyle goals, be able to knock it out of the park as you like really strive to do more. So as you look at us, what we're looking to do to differentiate ourselves and set us apart from anybody else out there is we are going to be the proven brand and proven product portfolio, sports nutrition products that are guaranteed to deliver results for you. Look for us for products that help you energize prior to your workouts, get ready, get excited before your adventures, before your active lifestyle, help you maintain your hydration throughout the entire experience, throughout your entire day. Help you strengthen, help you maintain that lean muscle while you crush your fitness goals. Whether or not you're looking to put on muscle, whether or not you're looking to get toned, whether or not you're looking to lose fat and maintain your lean muscle, whether or not you want to be able to be, overall improve your, move, your movement, your stability, your flexibility, whether or not you want to achieve some form of a peak performance, look for us in the future to make those investments for new products, new value that's going to help you be able to knock those goals, crush it out of the park. But, don't take our word for it. That's where we're looking to invest. That's where we're looking to invest in you, whether or not you're a customer, business owner, an Amway employee here, or an XS employee representing the brand. We're investing in all of you. We couldn't be more excited about what's to come in the future. But we want to hear from you. What's the one thing? Let us know. What's the one thing you want to see from the XS brand as we move forward? What's the one thing you want to see from us in the next couple of years? Shoot, in the next 20 years, but actually in the next one year, what do you want to see from us? What do you want access to provide you? Message us, send us some comments. We'll take those comments in, and when we wrap up in our last session today, we're gonna land on some of those, and we're gonna make sure we address those. We're gonna make sure we answer those. We're gonna make sure we build those into what we're looking to do to help support you. Again, we couldn't be more excited. All of us here are behind the brand, excited about the brand. We're all excited about what you have to bring to the XS brand. We couldn't be more pumped about what's to come. So. Signing off on our second to last session. Pump for the next one. I'll turn it back over. Thank you so, thank you so much, Rob. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but I am super excited with where we are going for the next 20 years. Hey, Excess Nation, happy birthday. We are back. We've been here for 12 hours, and we have one final message for you. Thank you so much, Excess Nation. Thank you, Excess Nation. Very thank you, Excess Nation. Thank you so much, Excess Nation. Thank you, Excess Nation. Thank you, Excess Nation. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Excess Nation. We love you. Gracias, Excess Nation. Los queremos. Thank you, Access Nation. Thank you, Access Nation. Thanks, Access Nation. Love you guys. Cheers.
Gracias, Access Nation. Estamos muy orgullosos de todo lo que están haciendo. Estamos ansiosos de ver lo que van a hacer. Nos vemos en las playas, en los escenarios del mundo. Gracias, Access Nation. Thank you, Access Nation. Thank you, Access Nation. With all of my heart, all I can say is this is because all of you and we wouldn't be here and none of this would exist without you, all of you. So thank you. Thank you, Access Nation. And for 20 years, I have enjoyed more than anything. Thank you, Access Nation. So much for coming on this journey with us today and for the journey for this last 20 years. I feel like Josh has something else he wants to say. You want to say anything else? <laughs> He's always got something to say. No, I've said enough today, but it, it's been amazing 20 years to watch Access go from the very beginning when we were unsure if it was going to work, if you would like it, to seeing it be a game changer, changed the way we talked about a business, changed the way we experienced life, adventures, brought new customers in. It's been a fantastic 20 years, but I'll tell you what, and it might sound cliche, but I feel like we barely scratched the surface of what this brand is going to do for this business, and I am so excited about the next 20 years. I can't even tell you guys, and I get a little peek behind the curtain, but it's going to be awesome, you guys. Here's Brandy. Like I said earlier, Excess Nation, none of this, I mean, absolutely none of this. What happens here in the manufacturing facility to the team behind you, we are all here to support you. And all we ask is for your partnership in the next 20, because the first 20 have been phenomenal and absolutely exceptional. So here's to the next 20 years of amazing, phenomenal partnership with all of you. Reach out. Be, you know, we are your biggest team members supporting you, and we just want to be part of everything that you're doing in your businesses. So here's to all of you, and here's Rob. Yeah, I just want to say we wouldn't be here. This wouldn't be here. All of us wouldn't be here without you. Whether or not you love just love the products yourself, whether or not you love selling the products, whether or not the excess brand just represents the lifestyle that you have today to now or in the future, we wouldn't be here without you. We're so excited. We're pumped about what's coming in the future. We cannot wait to partner with you. I think the best word that we can talk about is partner and engagement with you day in, day out. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you want. We're happy, we're excited, we've made the investments. We've got, like Josh said, the peak behind the, the curtain we get here. But again, we wouldn't be here where we are today without all of you. And I'm so excited for what's to come in the future. So let's celebrate. Congratulations, Access Nation. Cheers, Access Nation, cheers! Yeah. Cheers! 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 Yes!